What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. It's about damn time One Piece is finally back. They went on a nice little two week break. Uh, I'm not really exactly sure why. I didn't really look up the reason, but if I had to guess, like me and my uh, buddy that read the manga have been like kind of speculating and kind of guessing on like where things are going, like how, how soon this, things are going to be coming in, in the next couple weeks and stuff. And I think this is what they went on break for really is what I talked with them is that they went on a two week break, kind of prepare for what's to come in the next, I would say 12 to 16 weeks. You know, like the next three or four months, which is about 12 to 16 episodes. Um, I would say that's a good frame of um, reference from what I remember on like where we're about to be in the show uh, and in the story in general. And I think that that's why they took a break is they're kind of preparing for some of the crazy animation that we're about to see uh, throughout these next couple weeks. That's the only thing that I can guess. Maybe there's more of a concrete reason, like maybe the maybe the studio was just taking a break or you know some sort of holidays. I don't really know, but if that was my that's my best guess. If I if I had to you know just guess without knowing uh, exactly what it was, I think they're trying to prepare because uh, I'm trying to tell y'all like these next like couple weeks, these next like 12 to 16 episodes. I, I think that's a good frame of reference. I'm pretty sure, bro. You. <laughs> If you're anime only, bro, this shit is about to get wild, bro. Like, this shit is going to be crazy. So, I'm so excited that this is back. It's been, it feels like it's been a long two weeks. Like, it's only been two weeks since we've gotten an episode, which doesn't, which isn't that long, but it feels like it's been a while because I'm so used to watching One Piece every week. So, definitely weird not having it the past two weekends, uh, but I'm very excited that it's finally back. See where we get back into things. Uh, last episode, I'm pretty sure we were mainly focused around Sanji. Uh, and Queen and Sanji kind of figuring out like what's going on with his body and you're we're getting a lot of hints with like him like beating up himself and like kind of forming himself back into like a regular shape where before he like looked like completely broken like leg all twisted up his neck's broken and shit and he just fixes himself pretty easily and it sounds like he's like hitting himself with like it sounds like it's metal and whatnot so it seems like Queen is kind of onto something with him being a cyborg uh, and um I mean, I think from the last reaction, I've had a couple comments or maybe even on my TikTok from a clip of that um, episode. Pretty sure it has to do with Sanji's um, raid suit. I'm pretty sure that's what it has, it has to do with it. Like maybe like him, since because he, he's never worn it before Wano and since he's worn it a couple times in this arc, I have a feeling it's kind of like awoken his like cyborg powers or whatever, like kind of like his siblings. Like his siblings already had it to begin with because remember we got that flashback to like, uh, one of the doctors or whatever at Jerma saying that Sanji was a normal human, unfortunately. And that's why he was, like, discriminated against by his father and the rest of his siblings and shit because he was, like, different or whatever. Uh, or not as strong as them. But... So they definitely, he was definitely born the same as the rest of his siblings, just that like something went wrong, I guess. And so I, that's why I think the best logical explanation is that ever since he started wearing the raid suit, it's kind of slowly awoken his powers uh, and it's uh, gradually getting stronger, I guess, because he's, he keeps on, he keeps on like, like what's going on with my body? Like he keeps on getting like kind of like confused and a little worried. Uh, and it seems like it's getting stronger and stronger because like, as we can tell last episode, like he was like all sorts of messed up, fixes himself real quick and he's all good. And then he, and then queen comes behind him, tries to cut his head off. Sword's broken in half. Forget the head. It's the, it's the fucking, um, what's it called? Uh, the sword actually got broken instead of Sanji's head. Like what? So I think that's pretty much all we got last episode. Uh, we got a maybe we got a couple other things. Uh, maybe uh, saw a little bit more of Momo trying to stop Onigashima, and then Yamato went on her own to try and minimize as much damage as possible if the worst case scenario happens, which Onigashima actually hits the land or the flower capital. Um, so everybody's kind of doing their own little thing right now, but I think the majority was Sanji and Queen last episode. So I'm excited to get into this one. Maybe we get back over to Zoro because Zoro actually has like a one-on-one -on -one with a King now. Um, and we get back on the rooftop with Luffy and Kaido. I mean, they're starting to go back at it and whatnot. Uh, we haven't seen uh, Law and Kid in a while um, going up against Big Mom. So maybe we'll jump around a little bit or maybe we'll focus on one group. Not really sure. But regardless, I'm excited. I hope you all are. If y'all enjoy this reaction, please leave a like down below. Comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. One Piece, 1054. Aibo ni shio. 
death to your partner. Killer's deadly gamble. Oh, okay, we're catching up with Killer and uh, uh, what's his face, Hawkins. We haven't seen this shit in a minute. Ooh. Damn. I can't believe after all you've seen and see how much the forces have changed, Hawkins, you're still fighting under Kaido. It's actually kind of crazy. Because you're a part of this generation that's fucking him up right now and fucking up his crew. You could easily flip like the rest of these soldiers or whoever. <laughs> Do you not know? Does he not even know why he... Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Fucking Orochi, bro. This goddamn snake, dude. Orochi's such a fucking asshole, bro. He might be one of... He's really far up there in, like, top-hated fucking anime characters for me. Like, they do such a good job of making you hate him. Like, look at his character design. Like, he's big for no reason. Big-ass... He looks like fucking Wario. But, like, worse. The voice actor... Everything fits him perfectly where you just despise this fucking guy. Bro, keep talking shit. Come on. It's actually annoying me that he's enjoying this. Bro, he's toying with him right now. This is why this is annoying me so much, is because he's... This, Hawkins is a part of the same new generation. I can't wait until you realize you messed up big time. Bro, such a bitch move, man. The title was like some sort of like desperate move the killer takes. Like, what is? I wonder what that is. Like, he's gonna take a he's gonna take a risk. So I'm assuming he's gonna try and attack him in some way. Of course not. Hawkins' power has always been his. Bro, bitch made. Bitch made. Very strong, but such a bitch move. What do you expect? <laughs> Bro, big mom. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Mama. Hey, good luck with that. They're both like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> Having a migraine? <laughs> I think it's worse than that. Are they gonna merge again? Oh god, here we go. This is gonna be a big attack. Ooh! Got a good hit on her. Long as that guy, bro. Do not mess with him. Ooh. Got hit pretty good back, though. Oh, she's not happy now. She's not happy. Ooh! Yo, that shit looks wild! Oh my god! Oh lord, here we go. Mm. Who's hitting him right now? Is it still Killer that's like messing with Hawkins? 
Because it seems like it, uh, Killer uses his swords and whatnot. It, it's, it just seems like he's getting hit. Like, punched. Oh, he's injuring himself? Bro, how much of a bitch are you? So annoying, dude. Hopefully he actually knocks himself out some way. Don't say don't say your life. Oh my gosh, bro. He's willing to give up his own life for his. I mean If you can get him to actually give up that that straw doll or whatever. So it stops messing with kid, but we'll see. Hawkins is a little bitch. Yeah, right, bro. Bro, Hawkins, you are just bitter, bro. Bro, you love sucking up the Kaido, huh? You do just love it. This, one, this guy, bro. It's like he's trying to bring him down to his level. He's like, there's no way you could accomplish that because I couldn't. And we're from the same generation. So shut up with your big, yeah, with your big ambitions. Like, bro, Hawkins is such a bitch. Yeah, truly pathetic. Just like you. Look, look how much that pisses him off. Bro, you're s Hawkins is such a bitch. I can't. Oh my god. Yeah, we've seen that, but we've also moved forces like you wouldn't believe. It's 12v8 right now. When at first it was 30, 30,000 versus 5,000? Like, fuck out of here, bro. Mm hmm. Damn right. Bro, <laughs> they were shaking in their boots. He submitted right away, didn't he? He's getting under his skin. I love this shit. Keep, keep, keep instigating, killer. I love it. Come on, somehow, somehow we gotta take this dude Hawkins out. That way, Kid can really focus up and be of some use in this fight with Law. Okay, so he might have gotten, he might have gotten the straw doll out without him realizing. Ooh. Why is he motivated to actually hit him? Oh, 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 nah, that looked clean. That looked so clean. And he cut off his arm. Oh, because Kid's already missing an arm. Yo, that looks... Nah, this animation looks really good right now. Because he already doesn't have that arm. Stupid. Stupid! Get rocked! Dumbass. <laughs> Let's go, killer. Good shit. Oh, it's kept in there, isn't it? Let's go, killer! Yes! Thank God! I'm tired of this dude Hawkins. Stupid ass. Let's go. Kid can truly focus now. Let's go. Come on. He's turning into that big ass thing or some shit. Yeah. Fuck him up. Come on, killer. Mess his ass up. The beheading claws. Oh my god. Let's go. Easy. Damn right. Get hell out of here. About a damn time. And you're wrong. That's what you 
fucking good. Let's go, killer. <laughs> done. He's done. He's done. Get him out of here. Back him up. He's done. See ya. Easy. Ain't worried about him no more. Let's go. Finally. Finally, kid can do his thing now with law against Big Mom. I'm glad. I'm glad we got this episode. I was thinking we might catch up with Kid and Law again because we haven't seen them in a while. The collapse of the old. That's what the card meant. <laughs> you know what that means, motherfucker. Oh, he feels ready now. Got nothing holding him back. A new path. Damn right. Out with the old, in with the new, motherfucker. Amazing. God damn, I want more, but it's good to be back. Amazing episode. Alrighty, guys. What another great episode of One Piece. Another great one to get back into the flow of things. It's been two long weeks. It's been long. Feels like it anyway. Uh, finally back into the flow of things. Like I thought from the pre-episode discussion, we were going to catch up with, uh, I was thinking, I was throwing ideas out there who we might catch up with, like Zoro and King, or uh, I was definitely keeping in mind Kid Law and Big Mom. I was definitely keeping that in mind. Uh, but with that, it was kind of tied with Killer's fight as well because of Hawkins' you know, bullshit with the, the, straw, the straw doll connected to Kid. So this is where we basically get back into this and uh, Killer is just literally avoiding him at first and, and trying not to do damage to Hawkins because he's, he's trying to, I guess, I guess he's also trying to buy time and like think things out because obviously he, towards the end he, he figured something out and it, it proved beneficial and he, this is why he was able to win this fight. But at first he was just kind of laying low, like he was just taking a beating from Hawkins, letting him talk his shit. Like Hawkins was talking the most shit. Like I feel like he was trying to make himself feel better because Killer also called him out on this. Like you're starting to regret making that decision that you did submitting to Kaido back then because the rest of them didn't and they're still alive. Well, maybe, I think Ap Apu did, uh, the music guy. I think he did as well, possibly, but Kid and Killer didn't submit. And, you know, they got imprisoned and whatnot. And, and this is how he got that smile fruit from Orochi in the first place. Because he, like, or, you know, Orochi's bitch ass, you know, it was like, oh, you can save your captain if you eat this. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just stupid ass shit. But as you can see, Killer and Kid are still alive right in front of Hawkins in the same place. Like, they're, they're still alive and well, just not under Kaido. So they, they've been able to still like live with their own choices. Whereas Hawkins like was just too afraid to die and he's submitted to Kaido ever since. So you can just tell, you know, that's just bitch made shit. Uh, nothing usual <laughs> with uh, Hawkins. Uh, and you could tell that it was finally getting under uh, Hawkins skin. He was like, man, shut your ass up. Like he was trying to prove his point. And I, I feel like that's what he was doing the whole time when he was talking shit earlier in the episode and just kind of wailing on killer. Like, come on, fight me, like do something. Uh, and like calling him pathetic this and that is because like he he wanted to make make himself feel better like his decision was right like he made the right choice but like no bro you were just too afraid to make your own choice and uh you were too afraid to die uh and killer calls him out for that later and uh sure enough you can see like kid kind of struggling because like Hawkins started hitting himself in the head like you know hitting his head against the wall and like you know kind of is like just putting kid in a disadvantage situation where he can't really fight to the fullest because he's constantly getting like this like pain coming into his head or wherever he was getting hit at like he was just constantly getting pain every couple seconds and so finally killer comes up with this i guess plan and he kind of asks hawkins like what happens if you get damaged and that damage has nowhere to go and he's like what are you talking about it's gonna go to kid naturally and this is where his idea came up with where he he was actually motivated to attack him and he did attack him he attacked him in his was it is it kids i think it's kids left arm he cut hawkins's left arm off because kid already doesn't have a left arm so that's why his own arm actually got cut off like he was confused at first he was like why the hell why the hell why, why did i lose my arm <laughs> he was losing his mind for a second and killer's like kid doesn't have a left arm and sure enough luckily uh it, the the straw doll was in that arm so he just takes it out of the arm and just 
you know, it disposes of it itself. So he kid can fight to his full advantage now. He doesn't have to worry about getting injured because of Hawkins' damage. And then Killer finishes up uh, the fight with Hawkins, wipes the floor with him, uh, beheads that big straw whatever thing uh, of from Hawkins, um, and then delivers the final blow. So Hawkins is down for the count right now. At least it seems like for a while. Uh, and I'm glad that finally happened and we got back into this and, and now that kind of like sets up the rest of the fight for Law, Kid versus Big Mom because we were kind of seeing it here and there this episode but it was mainly centered around Killer because we, if you can't have just one of the fights without the other because we, we already saw that this, this Killer Hawkins fight was set up to, to mess up Kid. So we got the Killer and Hawkins situation under control, Killer won. Hawkins is not a problem anymore. Kid is able to do his thing now. He's actually going to be of some use because, you know, obviously Law was noticing, both Big Mom and Law were noticing, like, what's going on with this guy? Is he having, like, a migraine? Like, what's happening? And so Law was like, damn, you're fucking useless. But now he's able to actually, like, he feels like, feels exactly how he should. And he's ready to go at it. So Law and Kid are in their best position to be able to actually fight Big Mom now. So maybe we'll get even more of a continuation of that fight next episode. Uh, and see, you know, how much more they, 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 they put up a fight against Big Mom. Or maybe we'll catch up with some other people after that. And I'm glad we wrapped that up. We, we wrapped that up with Hawkins and, and Killer. Because we haven't seen that in shit. I don't know. Like, it's been a good while. I feel like, I feel like we kind of got the introduction of that. Like, you know, Killer and Hawkins having that doll against Kid. We got the introduction of that. And then we hadn't seen it in like a good minute. Um, so I'm glad we got that. And got that out of the way. Thank God, because Hawkins is... I mean, that power itself is just so annoying. Like, it's just so whack. But then he starts using his cards, and, he, and that first card is what summons that big straw, whatever thing that he uses. Uh, and then the second card, he was like, you know, depending on the, the next card, like, it, it will get up if it wills, it wills it or whatever. You know, like, depending on what card it was, he was thinking, like, that straw thing was going to get back up and, like, continue. Like, even if it did get back up, Killer is taking it out again. Like, I don't know what you expect. Uh, but sure enough, he pulls the next card and he looks at it and he's like completely shocked. And it's basically like an image of like a tower blowing up. And the meaning of that card, it says like towards the end of the episode is basically the old are going to fall or something. Uh, and then it, it could also be interpreted as, as the, uh, a new path is ahead or something, uh, which I basically see it as, you know, like out with the old in with the new. And that's like literally what's happening right now. We got the old generation, Kaido and Big Mom, the two emperors, the, they've been reigning this over the sea for a long time. These are the two big honchos that we're going up against with the worst generation, Straw Hat, you know, Luffy, Kid, Law, all their crews. They're all here right now, putting up a fight against them, ready to take them down. So this is like, it's, you know, dude, it's fucking beautiful, bro. It's just amazing. Out with the old, in with the new. So that's what, it, literally what's about to happen, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and the fact that Hawkins saw that, because he's so into his cards and shit, like that, ba that basically, like, like he was already about to get cut down and like dealt with, but that like really set in like his morale or, uh, mindset i guess and like him trying to believe that he made the right decision to be under kaido because he saw that card he was like well like that really like set it in stone for him like damn maybe i did make the wrong choice and then he gets cut down so it just goes to show you know you sh you, sh you shouldn't have submitted you know what i'm saying maybe or maybe you should have flipped sooner because like you've, you've had plenty of time to flip uh just like drake you know we found out drake was working for the government or whatever uh and then a lot of the other uh forces of um kaido's pirate crew you know getting saved by luffy's crew or the samurai or whatever you know however the way forces have switched is now twelve thousand versus eight thousand, which is way closer than before when it started so you've had your time to flip and and help out you know your own generation of pirates instead of you know, working under kaido for you know forever and just like he seemed like you really loved being sub <laughs> submitted under him so hey you got, you got what you wanted, Hawkins, and it's over, bro. So, I'm glad we got that. Killer did his thing. Amazing job. And now Kid and Law can finally focus on their fight. That's right in front of them. Big Mom. And then, that's about it. So, I'm assuming we're going to catch up more with them. Like, see more of that fight in, as a whole. Like, just because the Killer situation's over with Hawkins. Maybe we get a little bit more of Law and Kid and Big Mom. Like, just them three next episode. Or, since we kind of got... Like, that was like one scenario killer and hawkins and then big mom and kaido and kid and law or big mom kid and law 
maybe we get back to like Luffy and Kaido, like go see the other emperor for a little bit next episode or whatever. Uh, I'm sure we'll be jumping around between uh, all these groups um, pretty much every episode or in the middle of each episode. So I'm very excited. I'm so glad One Piece is back. That was an amazing episode. If y'all enjoyed it, please leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.